here we have the frustrated prospector. We have the definite target. She's very proud of this patch, and as she should be, with nearly an ounce of gold. But we best get this one out the ground. G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. And today, this is episode two of um, the material that Greg and, and Michelle sent me. Um, Greg and Michelle went prospecting out at Leonora in Western Australia, and they brought back some, some uh, rock and some dirt from Leonora, and uh, over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be processing it all. Yeah, and I'll show you guys what I find. Now, today, I've got two lots of rock. I've got this this rock here, which is a schist, and it's full of um, sulphides. Yeah, it's a sort of a green, green colour. Yeah, so I'll be crushing this up and panning it out, see if there's any gold in it. And this is the other rock. This is a um, uh, a mix of quartz and, and rusty old iron. It's um, the sulphides have leached down and r rusted away. Yeah. So this looks really good. This rock looks really promising. I, I actually sliced it up and looked under the microscope, but I couldn't see any gold. But uh, anyway, we'll crush it up, pan it out, and see if there is gold in it. Because that yellow in there looks like limonite. Yeah, so anyway, that's what we're doing today. Processing some of this material that Greg and Michelle kindly sent to me. Okay guys, I'll be back when I'm crushing. Okay, first up I'm going to be crushing this um, abrasiated quartz, the rusty old quartz. Yeah, we'll crush this up first. Okay guys, pan one of that uh, rusty abrasiated quartz, so we'll do that one first. This material looked really good, so um, we'll see, we'll see if there's any gold in it. Obviously if there is, it's only going to be small, it's just going to be fine gold. Typical hard rock gold, usually fine. Yeah, but uh, this is all, um, this material was sent to me by Greg and Michelle. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, I'll be making another video after this one. I've got still got more material there. Um, some uh, some material that they scraped up from, from an area where they were finding quite a few small nuggets. And it's... Apparently it was only a small area, so they've, they've scraped up a few bags of that material, so I'll be doing that next. I might even get a small nugget in that material. That'll be good. Okay, I'm down to the black sand. Okay. We'll have a look. Okay guys. 
Let's see. Let's see if we can get some. If I get fine gold in this material, I'll be putting this in with the black sand. That, the rest of that black sand that I'm collecting up. Can't see anything. I'll have a look on the jeweler's loop, see if I can see any fine specks of gold. But um, just looking at it, I can't see anything um, that that looks like fine gold. Yeah, unless it's super fine. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you with, with another pan. Okay, pan number three, guys, of this um, abrasiated quartz, Mineral, mineralized quartz, and. Um, under the jeweler's loop, I'm just seeing real fine gold. So, with the naked eye, well, I've got my reading glasses on and I can't see the gold. But under the jeweler's loop, I can see just fine little specks. So, there's gold in that in that rock, but only super fine. Maybe somewhere in that quartz reef, there's some richer, richer gold. doesn't look too rich at the moment from uh, from this sample anyway anyway we'll have a look and see if I can get a speck see if I can get a big speck that you can see All that black materials is um, iron, I think. Good black sand. I can see some specks of metal at the back of the pan here, but I won't. I don't know what it is until I look under the uh, jeweler's loop. I'll get back to you with another pan, guys. Okay, pan number five, and the last pan of this um, mineralized quartz. And I'm seeing fine gold in every pan, but it's uh, you can only see it under the under the jeweler's loop. So that's how fine it is, super fine. I'll um I'll put it under the microscope and just show you guys the fine gold out of this uh, out of this particular material. But that's all right. It, uh, it tells um, Greg and Michelle, you know, that there is gold in this material. And uh, Michelle did find a small nugget near this reef, so it could have shed from this, this quartz reef. Maybe somewhere on that reef there is some richer deposits. Okay, see if I can show you it's a bigger piece in this, this lot, the last pan of this material. Oh yeah, let's have a look guys. I'm seeing fine specks of metal up the back here, um, but yeah, some of it would be gold, but really fine. Okay guys, I'll get back to you with the, the uh, second sample that I've crushed.
Okay, this is our second sample, um, this sample that I crushed. It's uh, schist, that green coloured schist. So we'll, uh, we'll pan this out and see if we get any gold out of this material. I know there's a lot of um, sulphides on this, you could see it. You could see the sparkly sulphides in this rock. So maybe there's some gold as well in there. We'll have a look. Hopefully there's some bigger specks that I can show you. And um, Mr. Gold has sent me some more of those atlases, those, um, oh, what are they called? The atlases where you can, it shows you where all the old gold mines are and all that sort of thing. Um, all the metals in Western Australia. Yeah. So I've got some more of those to give away. So stay tuned for the wrap up guys. Um, mineral, mineral atlases they are on the uh, where the minerals are in Western Australia. But, uh, the atlas is from the West Australian Mines Department. Yeah, it's all. It's inter It's an interesting read, and it's got all um, the proper proper atlases of Australia. Yeah, I can see some gold, guys. Right up the top of the pan, real fine gold. I don't know if you'd better see it. There's a nice speck just in front of my finger. You might be able to see that. And all along here at the back, super fine gold. Yeah, and, and plenty of it. Okay. So, um, Greg and Michelle. Yeah. It uh, could be worth getting some more of this material, for sure. Okay, I'll get back to you with another pan, guys. Okay, pan number three. And yes, there's, um, there's some nice gold in this material. I can see it in the pan. And some of the specks are, yeah, a nice size specks. You can see them easy enough, easy enough in the pan. So that's good. So this material is really good. It, it would be worth getting some more of this because... Um, even though this is fine gold, somewhere in the uh, in the reef or the vein where this material has come from, there there must be some richer material. And this is how you find it. You just take samples, crush it up, pan it out, and see what's in it. And then the next job is to find out if there is a richer section in that in that uh, reef or outcrop. So that's good. Greg and Michelle know now that there's some good gold in this material, this, uh, this green schist. Okay. Let's see if I can show you as a decent spec. You can actually see. I can see some specks up the back of the pan already. There's a piece right there in front of my finger, small piece of gold. Yeah, and there's a heap of it, fine gold up the back of the pan here. I'll leave it at that because I want to clean this up and I'll stuff it up and then I'll show you all the gold in the pan and uh, yeah so I'll get back to you I've got enough there for another pan guys so I'll get back to you okay pan number five and the last pan of this material and uh, as I said it's got some got some good gold in it I don't know if you could see it uh, through the camera lens but there's some uh, yeah some nice specks and super fine specks but a lot of it you could see the tail in the 
top of the pan. And I've still got uh, I've still got another three bags of material there uh, to do. Yeah, like I said, it's um, taken from their patch. Three bags of surface material taken from their patch, where they found quite a few small nuggets. So that'll be interesting. There might be some nice sized pieces in amongst it. Okay guys, glass pan, let's see. See if I can show you as a decent size speck. That's a piece of metal out of the crusher. I can see all the fine gold up the back of the pan. No bigger bits, but up the back of the pan here, guys, is all fine gold. So um, I'll enter the stuff a bottle out, and I'll just see if there's enough there to show you. And otherwise, I'll put it under the microscope, give you a better look. Okay, guys, I'll see you at the wrap up. Okay, guys, I hope you can see all that. That's all fine gold. There's a couple of bigger pieces, and most of it's all super fine. But um, I'll show you under the uh, under the microscope. Well guys, that was cool, um, yeah that's uh, the second lot of material that I've done uh, so far and I've got more, I've got plenty more to do to get through, they're probably going to be oh, another two episodes I'd say, um, of just um, going through Greg and Michelle's um, material that they um, graciously have given to me, yeah thank you very much Greg and Michelle, appreciate it. Um, now. Mr. Gold, Prospecting 101, he's sent me some more of these books, guys, so um, there's four of you that I'm going to give them out to at, at the moment. I'll be giving out more. Um, I've already given Greg and Michelle one of these atlases on, uh, on Western Australia. They're, they're on the, um, the minerals. So all the minerals in Western Australia, uh, this atlas uh, shows you where they are. So it's gold lead, copper, gemstones, all that kind of thing. It's, it's all in this book, in this atlas on Western Australia. It's from the West Australian um, Mines Department. That's where Mr. Gold got it from. Yeah, so um, 
Anyway, I'm giving out four. So Greg and Michelle, they've already got one. I've given one to Greg. I'll be sending one out to Gavin. Um, one out to Andrew. And who's the other one? It escapes me. Yeah. Anyway, there's four. There's um, yeah. There's before years. So I'll be handing out these books. They'll be. Um, I've got. I think I've got you all you guys' addresses. So I'll just post them straight out to you. Yeah, so one of these books is heading your way. Now, another thing I've been doing, as you know, I cut and polish rocks. So I did this, did another agate the other day. Cut one up, I'll just show you this one. You can see the shine there. This is a beauty. This is uh, another one of those Brazilian agates. And I've finished this one off. Uh, the other half, I'm still polishing that one. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe I might give one of these away to, to one of you lucky people. Yeah, I'll see how I go. I've still got a couple more to cut. Yeah, so, um, I think that's about it, guys. Um, that's it, yeah, so I'm giving away four of these books, and I can't think of the four, fourth one, the fourth person. Andrew, Gavin... Greg and Michelle. Oh no. Anyway, it'll, oh, the um, the fourth one's going to Jeff in Tasmania. Yeah. So that's the four, the four books I'll be posting out. But I have got more. I've got more there. So um, maybe on the next video, I'll give out some more. So keep the comments coming, guys. Just send in comments. Uh, if you live in Western Australia or you live over in the eastern states in Australia and, and you want one of these magazines one of these atlases yeah just leave a comment and um because I've got quite a few there so I'll be sending them out um maybe four at a time I'll do yeah so in my next video I'll probably give you another I don't know two or four of them uh, yeah so just put a comment in um I think that's about it I've wrapped it all up uh oh yeah if you um if you smoke, if you're a smoker and you want an ashtray, I've made an ashtray up out of the bot the bottom or the base of a bottle, an old um, wine bottle, I think it is. Really thick glass. Yeah. I'll put a picture. Put a picture up so you can see it. If you smoke and you want this ashtray, leave a comment. Yeah, I've got to give it away to one of you guys. Um, yeah, that that'll do for now guys. Thank you very much for supporting my channel, for watching my videos. I appreciate you all. I hope you like my, my video and yeah leave a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already subscribed take care out there be good and I'll see you guys on the next one bye